We got into the mess of the debt ceiling uh, because in our polarized politics, uh, the newly elected members of the House were very intent on changing the federal budget, uh, trying to make fed the federal government smaller, and the debt ceiling seemed to be an opportunity to hold the administration and the rest of the government hostage uh, to uh, their particular views. So uh, we have an artificial crisis. We don't need to have a debt ceiling. We shouldn't have a debt ceiling. I think we're the only country that does have a debt ceiling, but it is being used as an artificial crisis to make uh, changes uh, in the budget. It never occurred to me uh, over all the years I've worked on the budget that we could be seriously contemplating the possibility of default. The idea that the United States government would not pay its obligations seemed to me unthinkable and still does. I expect we will get past this at the last minute, but uh, I never imagined that we could be contemplating not paying our bondholders or uh, not paying our other obligations. We don't know exactly what the uh, short-term solution uh, will be, but if we get past uh, this uh, artificial debt ceiling crisis, we will not have solved the real problem. The real problem is that as we look ahead, government spending is on track to grow faster than governor, uh, government revenues can. Uh, that creates an increasing need to borrow. That is unsustainable, and we are going to have to take measures over time to reduce the rate of growth of entitlements, that means Medicare and Social Security and Medicaid, uh, and uh, to reduce other spending growth and uh, to raise revenues. We can do that by reforming the tax code, which might uh, allow us to bring the rates down and still raise more revenue, but we've got to do it. And both the commissions on which I served came out with plans that did all of those things. They reduced the rate of growth of Medicare and Social Security, put Social Security on a firm foundation for the future. They uh, restrained the growth of uh, uh, discretionary spending, the annual appropriations uh, over time, both for defense and domestic spending. But they also raised more revenues from a reformed uh, tax system. And we need to do all those things if we're going to put our budget back on a sustainable track.